Hey guys, I'm at, Edge, at uh, Badger Airbrush here, and I'm here with Raleigh. Hi. Raleigh is uh, a super cool employee. He's took me on a little mini tour, and we're gonna go just through and show you the highlights of uh, Badger Airbrushing here. Um, you've been how long you been here, Raleigh? Oh, for 16 years. Wow, that's a lot of <laughs> lot of years under your belt there. Yeah. Very, very cool. Now, you were just showing us this over here. This is uh, the engraver. engraver. Yeah. And uh, it engraves all the different model numbers on the airbrushes and stuff. Right now, he's working on the 175. And I noticed that uh, it shows off uh, that you, you uh, with the two tone, going yeah, from. The, the brass shows. The brass uh, shows. It's, it's, yeah, they're right. real pretty. Look at all them airbrushes, guys. I know you're salivating out there. Um, let's head on down here and see what else you got to show. This is our uh, packing line, our starter kits and stuff. Right now she's packing uh, 350 kits. Yeah, the 350 is really nice if you're used to a spray can, is uh, what I've been told. We used to have blister cards, but now we have clamshell packaging, which is a little nicer. Actually, a mm -hmm. lot nicer. Yeah, and that's uh, a single action uh, outside air feed, right? Correct. Cool. We call it external. External feed. Yeah. Okay. So the packing line right now she's packing down some 155 brushes. Nice. That's a dual action internal mix. Sweet, sweet. Over and then, there's where we do all the piece part packagings for all the airbrushes. Now you've got quite a few of them. How many airbrushes would you say you guys got? Or is this? I, knew you I, I was gonna do that. Okay, <laughs> we'll 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 keep moving. I'll notice that your I, I've noticed that your line has expanded over the years. Yeah, we've added the Renegade series and we've added the Chrome recently. Nice. And those have been very popular. Very very nice. Right now she's doing the Patriot, which actually is uh, another one that we recently added. It's a gravity fed. A lot of people are raving about the Patriot. Yeah. On uh, on YouTube. So that's really neat to see, you know, this is this is where it's born, guys. Coming to you. Back here is our uh, shipping department. Yeah, and they got some really cool stuff that they, they have just out. Um, they've got a lot of stencils, guys. And uh, these stencils function in multiple uh, areas. They can also function for uh, even tattoos. Uh, they do, uh, like, food spray painting. There's a lot of really neat applications here. Especially, I like this one right there. That is awesome. Where do you want to go now? This is the paint department. Cool. All right. You're going to see the, the uh, Minotaur well, line shortly. It's not like. working right now, but this is where we fill our paint line. Yup, and she is good. I was watching her. She is she is excellent. <laughs> paint comes in five gallon buckets. Too, we put a yep, yep. mixer on, keep the consistency. Yeah, yeah. She's got that eye. She can stop it on a dime. Now this is your Minotaur line, right? Yeah, the Minotaur line. It's a new line for the action figures. Or yep. What we do. What we do. Yeah, it's very popular. Yes, yes, I'm very excited uh, to, to hear about this line coming out. Now, you were saying this is an acrylic based line? Yeah, it's a water based acrylic. Water based acrylic, and the nice thing about that, guys, is that it doesn't eat foam. So, all you terrain guys out there don't have to be afraid of this stuff, as well as figure painters. And you've got some stuff that goes, goes uh, uh, all the way back to model railroading, yeah, too, I hear. Yeah, we, uh, we're big in the hobby. We're mm -hmm. We have uh, train colors to match the colors, paint schemes that train, uh, train Jews. Nice, nice. Now, I, I learned something new here I didn't know, and you were saying with the RC cars, they actually use clear plastic. Well, it's clear plastic covered and Cover painted from the inside. And painted from the inside. Yeah. That is so cool. I never knew that. paint that is a little stronger and doesn't chip and stuff when they get painted up. Nice, very, very nice. Um, then we're heading over into this area. Compressor department is next. Yeah. We have all kinds of uh, you know, compressors. We have small for bakery. 
could get larger ones. They could run two airbrushes at once. Really? Dual? That's sweet. I didn't know that. And we had a nice talk with the gentleman down there. That's uh, Mike. Who, who's Mike and knows all about it. He's hiding back there in the blue shirt. Um, so, yeah, they've got... I didn't even know if they had air working on a large order right now. Sweet, look at that. This is our oh 9 my This is our biggest model that we have right wow. now. Wow. It has a tank, comes with a tank. Now, is this the one that can run too? Yeah. That is awesome. Especially for people that, uh, you know, they're doing a lot of back and forth between the two. And then I think we're not supposed to go in here, is that right? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll film this away. Okay. These are uh, where they make the, the guts of the... Uh, yeah, this is our soldering department where we get the parts in and they solder the brushes and then they get drilled, tumbled, mm -hmm. and uh, our sensitive players. Nice. Okay. I'm at the side, sorry. So, this is, uh, this is, is there anything else you want to show me or? testing Sure, yeah, let's check out the testing room. Yeah, this is really cool, guys. Why are you filming that Because I'm not going to film something I'm not supposed to. Okay. I, I want to see you, honey, because you're so cute. Okay, so this, this is, is where you... testing room and every year brushes. Before it leaves the factory. That's 100% guys. I can tell you in, in, the, uh, in the, the field that I used to work in, you were lucky if they tested 10% of the product that's going on. This is 100% tested. That's, that's huge. I'm working on some full tires and some uh, chromes right now. You can see you're spraying it right there. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So you can be sure you're getting, getting the highest quality brush you're going to get. Like I was telling you, we do different uh, colors too. We do bright nickel, chrome. Oh, okay. We do black chrome. Nice. This is black nickel. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. I like that's that. That's the color of the Renegade. Nice. <laughs> They're just uh, maybe not engraved properly or chipped or something. Like oh, okay. So do you ever sell. do factory seconds or yeah, just melt the garage sale? Oh, okay. No, can, is that on your website? Yeah, you can buy directly. There's oh. a garage sale section in our website. We on the website. Brushes for cheap. Hey! They still work just as good. They might not look perfect. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. A, that's cool. Well, that's it. Well, Raleigh, thank you so much for your time. You're You've welcome. been uh, so, uh, so kind to take your time out and show us this incredible shop of yours. And uh, like I said, one of the things I want to do is demystify airbrushes to everybody. Uh, Highland Terrain made a comment on one of my videos saying I, I've got one. I'm just too intimidated to use it. So we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and solve that problem. Yeah, they're very easy to work with, really. Mm-hmm. They're not that complicated. So thank you so much, Raleigh. You've been wonderful.